Good morning, everybody. Say good morning, everyone. What up, party people? I'm here with my little guy, Robert, and we're cruising home from a ever so fun, productive trip to the Chevrolet dealer. So I figured today's my birthday, and let's talk about why I hate this car. So this is my 2023 Chevrolet Bolt EV 2LT. It's a mouthful. EV is the smaller of the Bolts. There was the EUV that came out in 2022. That's a slightly bit larger, but in my opinion, a lot more blob looking. Not, not a fan of it. 2LT is the trim level. There's 1LT, 2LT. And then for the Premier, or, I'm sorry, Ugh. for the EUV, it has 1LT, 2LT, Premier, and it's three. So, you might be saying to yourself, you had this car for a year and you hate it? What the heck? I don't, I hate parts of it. In all honesty, you know, love gets no interest on the internet, so if I told you I love the thing, you'd just be like, oh, you're a shill for GM. Oh, you just love the general, don't you? Well, no. And that's what I'm going to get to. <clears throat> so this car, a quick history lesson on it. The Bolts engine, engine, the electric motor, the powertrain, and all that stuff, and the battery that it has, actually, which is why LG got in trouble for this, is all LG. You could take the Chevy logo off this car, put the Lucky Gold Star thing on it, and you'd be mostly right. The infotainment system and the displays for the gauges, the whole electronic system for the drivetrain and all that, that's all LG. So if you remember how wonderful Gold Star was back in the day, um, here you go, it's a Gold Star car, it exists. They just don't tell you. Ah, the unsung hero of the economy car crowd, the Mirage. Love it. So, anywho, most of the stuff in this car is made by LG. And the stuff that's in the car that's made by LG, honestly, is pretty good. Um, I haven't had any issues with the infotainment system, or the air conditioning, or the gauge thingamajig, or... The, the drivetrain or the battery, any of that stuff, it's all been 100% rock solid, good, knock on uh, plastic, you know. Um, the issues with this car, and the whole issue with this car, is this Chevrolet or General Motors, the build quality is not the best, it's not terrible but it's not great. So if you look at the dashboard, you can see like where this little thing is here. There's like a little gap. The dash is a different height on this side as you go along to that side, which is amusingly funny. And it's stupid little things like this is crooked, which then is you know wearing a slight spot into the door panel where it goes through and it's just dumb stuff for the most part <clears throat> now this car made a annoying clicking sound when you turn the steering wheel back and forth and it drove me nuts I'm like why is it doing this so I brought the car into the dealer they looked at it figured out yes it's making a noise Let's fix it. So the first thing they replaced is the steering column itself, which didn't fix it. And then there was a TSB out for where the braces underneath where the steering column bolts to, to put some mastic sealant in a spot because it would flex slightly and the metal would make popping sounds. Okay, cool. They do that doesn't fix it so it goes back again and that time they had to take a lot of this apart 
and replace there's a big metal bar under the dash that supports the whole dash and is like a structural part of the car that's bolted in so they replace that and then finally the annoying popping sound is gone in the process of that the dealer technician had damaged the steering column covers they damaged the part of the dash over there where the headlight switches it had a big nick in it and there was a few other things that I can't remember at any rate you know the car was what, two or three months old at the time so that wasn't gonna fly I was pissed so the dealers credit they did get all in the parts to fix it which didn't take long at the time it was before the strike they had to order the steering column covers I think three times because they were coming damaged which is ridiculous um, the other stuff came okay but they fixed it and it's been fine since for the most part then this poor car got hail damage which isn't isn't the car's fault and so then they I had that repaired trying to find this panel was a nightmare because the, the person who took the car apart to fix the things this is the flimsiest shittiest piece of plastic underneath that I have ever seen and it is held in with the strongest clips known to man so when you pull this down you're going to break it pretty much there's just there's no way around it um, so getting one in took forever but they got it they paid for it they covered it it's fine it's fixed so on to the car's current problem which isn't a major problem but it's an annoyance so there's a big plastic panel on the tailgate and <clears throat> it squeaks so the little Christmas tree things that go in they're loose they're broken and <laughs> they can't just order the little Christmas tree parts the little the little clips which is silly I should just go get someone to fix it myself, honestly, at this point, because the first panel that got sent, and this is getting, you know, right after the strike happened, took forever to get, and it comes and it's all scratched up. I mean, just massacred. So, they, obviously, I'm not going to take that, but they wouldn't let me take the clips off of it. But whatever. That goes back, so they order another one. Like, two months goes by. Stop in, like, hey, where's that panel so I can finally use the tailgate thing to the little handle to close it without it popping off like oh yeah there's a part here for it they go and look and it's not even something for this car at all I don't know what happened there they said GM screwed up okay whatever let's so order another one I get a call yesterday and coming today it's like oh yes it's my birthday today I'm gonna get this fucking panel fixed I can use the tailgate handle again without it creaking and popping. Awesome! Yay! So I get the little guy up, drop my daughter off at school, and head straight over to the good old Chevrolet store. Sit there for an hour and wait. Well, almost an hour. And the lady, the service advisor comes to me, she's like, yeah, this panel has a big hole in it. Ugh. First of all, shouldn't your parts department, like, look at the stuff that comes in and make sure it's not destroyed I mean that would make sense to me but regardless why would someone at the parts packaging place send out a part with a big hole in it what a waste of money I mean sure GM has millions and billions of dollars just think of how many times that happens. If it's happened to me twice, where damaged shit's shown up for the car, what about for other people? All that money wasted on shipping costs and logistics for, for nothing. It's stupid. So, yeah, there. so there's that. <laughs> that's, uh, <clears throat> that's the ongoing saga with, with this so far. And one more thing. There's these little circular clips that go in the back for the cargo cover, which I'll show you in a minute. 
those pieces pop out and they've been replaced before and the official stance is from GM is that's how it's made that's that it's just defective design and fuck you it's just how it is so that's that's excellent I mean what what quality so I'll stop up here and show you guys around the car real quick so then I'm gonna go to the grocery store what fun yeah the, the biggest issue with this car is really it's 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 Chevy and more so the fact that you have to deal with the same service centers and things as you know they're like a Trax or an Equinox they're special EV people but eh. so first of all this right this is great the shifter compared to my... I had a 17, which had like this weird lever, rocky thing. The push button's great. This is a really nice idea. It takes up less room. The audio system, I have the Bose. I think it sounds fantastic. I can't demo it for you because a cell phone camera is not going to pick up any of that stuff anyway. same dinging noise forever I would say the interior on the thing the seats are very comfortable heated leather because it's a 2LT the heated steering wheel works great heated seats work great there's the little guy unlike the tracks the windows have been flawless they all work fine. Say hi, Robert. He's tired. <laughs> so this is the panel. You can see there's like a little gap here. Here's the handle where you pull it down. It's got a screw, but as you pull it, you can see it pulls away from the gate a little bit, and I'm worried about it breaking. But worse is over bumps, it squeaks. So this is the big panel. It's this whole big piece. That's supposed to get replaced. And then these are the clips that like to just randomly, it's not so much when it's cold, but when it's hot, they, they rotate in and lock in. But as this opens and shuts, it twists on these. So my fix for it's going to be just a little dab of glue in here, and it'll hold these in. But not enough where it, um, if I have to replace them, I wouldn't be able to get it back out. So, I don't mind the mess. Like I said, I drive this car pretty much every day. I added, because it doesn't come with it, a spare tire. So I got a spare tire, jack, extra baby supplies, a Mitsubishi roadside assistance kit from my old Mirage. <laughs> so, that's there. And underneath that is like the storage tray for the little air compressor and all that kind of garbage. Um, trunk space, decent. If you don't have this, if I didn't have the tire, you can lower this whole thing down and get more space. <clears throat> but it, it's adequate. My kid's little stroller fits in here pretty good. Yes, I have a Pikachu license plate frame. All in all, it's, you know, it's a good-looking car for what it is. I really like the color. Here's your charge port. AC, DC, you know. Ooh, it's cold out today. I'm going to get back in. Oh, man. But that's really about it, guys. I mean... I really do love this car. I just wish it wasn't a Chevy. And this is why I tried the tracks because besides a couple hiccups with, you know, minor stuff, it's been really good. I haven't had issues, even with the wireless Apple, or not Apple, I don't have an iPhone. The wireless Android Auto has never had a, a real issue. 
the AC and heat works great. It drives super well. It's comfortable. It's been, again, knock on plasticky stuff. It's been very reliable. And when I had the issues with it, when it was in for the that bar being replaced underneath the dash, I ended up taking a trip to Colorado. I had planned to visit one of my friends out there. So I had the Equinox rental car, but I actually took my van when I went. And Chevy reimbursed me over $800 in fuel receipts because my car was in service, which I couldn't believe they would do that. I was blown away. And they also gave me a bunch of the GM rewards points as I've been waiting for them to fix the thing and whatever, which I used to buy the tracks. So that was completely useless. They got them back anyway. But I was really blown away with the customer service, really surprised. And that's when I figured out that EV GM has separate service than non-EV GM. The tracks, I already talked about how what a mess that was, how stupid that all was. But when I've had issues with this thing, not counting the plastic piece back there, that's been goofy. They were really on top of things. Like, they actually cared. Instead of just, you know, not giving a shit. <laughs> It was all pre-strike, too, so, I mean, maybe that's part of the difference. But, yeah, I can't say enough nice things about this car, really. It's, it's such a bargain for what you get. I came from a Nissan Leaf to this. I had the Leaf for a year. It was a used one. It didn't go very far. But then to go to this car where... Not in the winter, of course, but in the summer, I can go 200 miles in this thing easy. And, you know, it wasn't, it, it, this is the most expensive thing, not counting a house, that I have ever purchased in my life, is this car. I've had other things that were kind of close, but this thing, um, I'll put the window sticker up, because I, I don't have it with me. But it was over $30,000, and... For what you get, like I said, this is the 2LT, so it has, I can show you actually, it's got the surround camera, and it ha this one has adaptive cruise, which some people complain about, I think it works really well. So many features, you know, for the money, and, and really, it, the car doesn't, besides, again, that plastic panel in the back, the thing doesn't squeak or rattle. It, it's really good, and it's it's a shame GM discontinued it because right now if there's there's still new ones out there. If you buy like the base model, the one LT that has like the cloth, so that has cloth seats and it doesn't have heated seats, you have to add all that stuff. But with the if you qualify for that tax rebate, you can get a new one of these for like twenty grand. 20 grand and the battery and the drivetrain is all the same so if you if you don't care about heated seats you don't care about adaptive cruise control 20 grand that, that's crazy and i would totally totally endorse someone to buying that even after the tracks fiasco give one of these a chance if if an ev would work for your lifestyle this is great. This is a great car. And the, the last point I'm going to make real quick about it is not related to the car. But there's a promotion, which I think is still going on to this day, that when you buy one of these, GM through this thing called Chimera, which that's a whole mess of bullshit. But if you can wade through the bullshit with that, it's it covers the installation of the outlet the larger 240 volt outlet to charge this instead of the shitty wall outlet, the regular household 110 current. So mine was classified as a standard install, even though it probably shouldn't have been. And it was free. It didn't cost me a cent. 
now I have a nice 240 charging outlet outside my house from GM. It didn't cost me a damn cent. So if that if that's still going on like I think it is, 20 grand for a car, the outlet gets installed for you. Just get an Amazon outside station for it, or if you know you can buy the one that's inside inside from General Motors relatively cheaply. You can't go wrong. So that's I can't really think of much more to say about it, but give one of these a chance while they're still there. Before it's too late and then they're gone. Forever. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys and uh we'll see you in the next one once I drive the Kona some more and we'll see what a piece of shit that is. So far though, I've got plastic. It's been rock solid. Rock solid. Bye bye. Hooray.